looking for the main attractions and the highlights of Rio de Janeiro. So I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro definitely should be on your bucket list and here are a few reasons why. First of all, the Christ Redeemer. The statue counts 30 meters. It was built 80 years ago, created by a Polish-French sculptor Paul Landowski. It is based on the Corcovado, the mountain that it takes the name from. For the curious one, Corcovado means hunchback. Hunchback, you know, the guy from the hunchback of the Notre Dame. So, the shape of the mountain resembled the shape of the back of the mentioned character. <laughs> The Christ Redeemer was voted one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007, offering fantastic views over Rio. It's a very touristic place though, so be prepared for queuing and crowds. Patience is welcome. Number two, Escaderia Celeron. This is the most famous staircase. It's named after eccentric Chilean artist Celeron, who designed them and died on its steps in 2012 in mysterious circumstances. They are made of ceramic tiles in colors of Brazilian flag. You can find them between Lapa and Santa Teresa neighborhoods. Number three, the, Metropol the Metropolitan Cathedral of Saint Sebastian. It was designed in the shape of Mayan architecture and it's definitely one of the most inspiring cathedrals I have ever seen. Number four, the Sugarloaf Mountain. So I must say that I found favela tour the most fascinating part of the trip. Generally, favelas are Brazilian slums. They constitute 10% of Rio de Janeiro population and 5% of the Brazil population. The biggest favela in Rio de Janeiro is Rocinha. It populates 75,000 people. Favela's people create very welcoming community. It's fascinating how mixed feelings you can get about the place. On one hand, you can see many warm creative people and on the other, teenagers with guns and narcotics in hand. So those guys are preparing for samba school. On the streets of favelas, you can hear music everywhere. Genres like foho, samba, funk and many others come from favelas indeed. Also, many football stars were brought up in favelas as well. The bridge you can see here, oh, this one exactly, 
was inspired by carnival and samba. Que la vida es un carnaval.